we're gonna give this thing a shot. Okay, right now we're in 2D. First things first, I'm gonna grab my uh, pop-out chat. All right, because this is to simulate doing a live stream. Put it up here. Now we're gonna turn on VR. I'm gonna hit control tab to turn on VR. Looks like it overlaid the game on top. So let's change the layers here. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this game capture, bring it below, and there we go. All right, so now let's full screen this again. Full screen projector. There we go. Okay. So, I could play the game in VR. I could look at chat, all right? Chat doesn't show up for you, but I see it. There we go. So, I can now play this game in VR. Oh, left click to remove. All right, so remove the pedo cover, right? Now, can I keep, keep the mouse in the game? That is the billion dollar question. I don't think so. Move the wheel chocks. Okay. Can I walk to the airplane? Open this door. Yes, I can. Turn on the parking brake. Primer it. Close my door. I wonder if I can open up the window. Nope. I do that. Okay. Mixture. Tiny bit of throttle. Okay. Burn up prop. Alright. There you have it. So. You can stream this game in VR with a single view, all right? So what you're going to need to do is the following. I'm going to hit control tab and it's going to go back to the normal game. It's going to turn off my VR. So now I can't see in VR. I see a projection of the 2D. Okay. So this right here is a game capture inside of OBS. All right, so I'm gonna close this full screen. You're gonna see what I have set up. All right, so this is OBS, all right? It's just a normal OBS, nothing special about it. But what I installed was this OpenXR mirror capture software, which I'll have the link to in the description of this video. All right, it comes with installation instructions. It's a readme file, it's pretty simple. All right, once it's installed, you'll basically, you'll set this as the top layer and then you'll have a game capture window as the bottom layer. And uh, what Microsoft Flight Simulator needs in order for you to uh, do this correctly is two screens, right? You're gonna need your game uh, OBS, basically, for your full screen. And then you're gonna need the uh, a monitor layout for the game and whatever panels you wanna put in so you can look at chat and VR. All right, or else you're gonna look at uh, OBS and yeah, there's gonna be too much stuff in the way. All right, so get two screens. All right, one for Microsoft Flight Simulator and all the other panels you wanna do. If you have three screens, that's great, but two screens minimum. All right, and the other screen here is OBS. All right, and it's running the OpenXR mirror capture. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on your OBS screen. I'm gonna right click on it, full screen projector preview, and then you're gonna choose the monitor that OBS is running on. Okay. And so now when you put on your VR headset, you move your mouse back into Flight Simulator, you hit Control Tab. All right. And now you're in VR, you're live streaming. I can see chat, you can't, all right? But I am live streaming in VR on a single screen. I'm not stretching out the game to where it looks horrible, right? 
I'm using the actual pixels that are being uh, captured in OpenXR instead of uh, a 2D uh, pancake preview that Microsoft Flight Simulator gives you. Okay, so you can actually get a higher frame rate doing it this way uh, if your computer supports it, obviously. Uh, than the preview window that Microsoft gives you in VR. Okay. All right. If you have any questions about how I did any of this, feel free to leave your questions in the comments. I take a look at them every couple of days. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm willing to help you out if you get stuck. Okay. All right. If you're wondering how I got the rest of my stream showing up, like um, the web camera and all of these things, the little lower corners and stuff. Uh, that's all being done on my streaming PC. Okay, so you basically you need OBS installed on your gaming computer, and then you need all your streaming software on another machine, or a third <laughs> monitor, or if you want to micromanage all that stuff on one PC, good luck getting it to run at a decent frame rate while you are flying in VR and live streaming at the same time. So you pretty much, you need two PCs in order to do this, right? Lots of streamers have two PC setups, so it's not really a big deal. But uh, if you just wanna do it without a web camera on, if you wanna live stream from your own gaming computer, you can do all that too, but expect it to slow down unless you got like a, a Ryzen setup with, I don't know, lots of cores. All right, hope this helps you. Thanks for watching, take care.